everyone, today I'm giving away this free printable which you can access using the link in the description down below. And I'm gonna be showing how you can turn this into a cleaning schedule. Today's video was actually a request by Kelly Hibbard who said, I'd like to write down house chores I complete monthly but don't know where to put them. I don't really have enough room on the weekly pages or monthly page. The printables come with a left justified and a right justified version. So I'm just gonna use a Happy Planner page and use a pencil to mark where I want the cut lines to be. And before you get started, I recommend if you don't already have a schedule figured out that you brain dump just on a blank sheet of paper what you think you want your daily, weekly, and monthly schedules to be. At the top here, we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So there are certain things in a house that need to be cleaned every day. So for this example, I wrote down make bed, clean kitchen sink, wash dishes, and load or unload dishwasher, sweep kitchen, and heavy traffic floors, clean the kitchen counters, tiny rooms, swish and swipe, and spray shower. So I'm gonna call these dailies. These will have to get checked off every single day. Underneath that, I'm going to write down things that need to get cleaned about once to four times a week. You said it was the last time now I'm gonna highlight the days that I want to complete these one to four times per week tasks on. So let's pretend that it is Monday and let's go through how you would fill this out. So you make the bed, you clean the kitchen sink. Then you check this column for what you need to do. So for this day, we just have empty the trash. And then we get to Tuesday. And you check your column, and today your task is to sweep and mop areas one through three. But I can't pretend now I have to get over you again. If you don't want to have to print out one of these sheets every week, you could laminate this and then use wet erase markers to, you know, mark each day off during each week. And then another option is to um, use the Word document that I'm including with the free printables and you can just type out your schedule and print out um, your typed schedule for each week. In addition to tasks that you have to do every day or tasks that need to be done one to four times per week, there are also tasks that only need to be done one to two times per month. So just as an example, I'm gonna use this sheet to fill those monthly and quarterly tasks out. And at the top here, I'm gonna number the weekends from one to five. I'm going to do the same thing as I did with the one, two, four times per week section where I'm drawing in squares. You said it was the last time, but you keep coming back to tell me sorry that you take back all the things you said. This sheet is representing the tasks I need to get done each weekend. Each task has a specific weekend designated to it. And then tasks that need to get done each year. Um, some of them need to be done multiple times per year. So I've broken this up into quarter one, January through March, quarter two, April through June, quarter three, July through September, and quarter four, October through December. So we have wash out the trash bins, deep clean baseboards and walls, deep clean the fridge, deep clean rugs. If you were to you know, laminate this, then you would only need to print this out once. But if this is something that you want to print out for each month, 
then I would actually probably not fill out this section more than for one month. And then I just use like January. Um, just fill it out in January and then have that sheet and um, use that sheet each time you're checking your cleaning schedule. Let's say that the, the person in this example, um, they wanted to, you know, fill out this section every single month. So then at the beginning of December, this is the view that they would see. So their quarter one, quarter two, and quarter three have already been completed. Let's say it's weekend one and they look in their column and it says, dust light fixtures plus quarterly task. So they dust the light fixtures and then they look on their list and they say, it's quarter four. These are my three options that I can choose from. I can either wash the trash bins, I can deep clean the fridge, or I can change the HVAC filter. Well, I don't have a lot of time, so I'm just gonna wash the trash bins. And so they can check off this task. And then they go to the next task in the list and it says wash duvet covers. So they're all done for their weekend tasks. But let's say it's now weekend number two and they are dusting the furniture and the shutters and it says, oh, they need to work on another quarterly task. I'm gonna to choose to deep clean the fridge. And maybe you could set this up so that you're working on one quarterly task per month. It's up to you. Now my wheels in motion and my windows open different ways that you can remind yourself to check your cleaning schedule. So one way is you can add into each day as a to-do item that you need to check your cleaning schedule. Another idea is to incorporate it into your routine as a task, check your cleaning schedule. Or you could add your cleaning schedule to your routine directly. I have these three tabs at the front of my planner. One says lists, one says schedules, one says long-term. And I could place my cleaning schedule behind my schedules tab and just flip to this um, each day and check it off. You could just add it to where the currently page is in your planner, which is located right before your monthly tab. And you could have all four weeks printed out, or like I was saying earlier, you can laminate this and then just use wet erase markers. Another idea is to just place it in your monthly or maybe make like a half sheet version of this and add it to each week. If you want to see more videos that discuss different ways that you can incorporate cleaning schedules into your planner, check out this video next and I'll see you next time. Bye! If I